All right, this button is going to cover uh, the insert button. It's a special thing that lets us put lots of cool stuff on our website really, really easily, especially other Google stuff. So we're going to start where we've been, which is on the edit button, which is the pencil. And I don't like this build nigh movie as much, so I'm going to get rid of this just to open up some space. And I'm going to get rid of the hyperlink that we made. And we're going to explore the link button. Insert. Once you hit insert, we have all of these things we can do. This is kind of your one-stop editing button. You can actually do almost everything from here. You can insert hyperlinks just by knowing this here. Let's try insert image. You may choose a file from your computer. These are all like computer files. Uh, let's find an image. Pictures. Durr. And the file is uploading. Yep, that looks good. Press OK. Oh my gosh, look at how big it is because it's this huge like 10 megapixel picture. So this is what we do. We click on it and we have this small, medium, and large button. Click it down to small and it's normal. Medium, large, or original. That's one way to insert pictures from your computer. You can also, if you're doing this from your mobile device, you can insert and take a picture right away, and it pulls that picture right there, or pull from your, uh, your phone files. We can also go insert image, and this is the one I like, from web address. But what you need is the URL. So I want to go to images.google.com, and let's pick... Um, Thermodynamics, some content picture. Here we go. This picture, view original. Here at the very top is the URL. I'm going to copy this image URL, and there it is. I like it. Okay, same thing small, medium, large. That was inserting images, and it gets even better. So this insert button works really good with Google stuff. Down here, I want to insert. If you have Google Docs, if you have things that you have made for your students under Google Docs, this is a great time to use it. I can pull out presentations. Oh, I'm signed in under a different Google account. OK, that's OK. Uh, if you have upload your PowerPoints to Google Docs, and you can put your PowerPoint right on the page, and students can watch them. Let's go insert. This is the final stop. Video, YouTube. It turns out we don't have to embed YouTube videos. If you just go, because YouTube is a Google product, and we type in Bill Nye, science guy, find our video. Right up here is the URL, the web address. Copy and paste it in. Save. There is Bill Nye's video. So instead of dealing with the code and the fancy code button, as long as it's from YouTube, you can put it in right there. Embedding still a good skill, because you can embed in embed documents, we can embed all kinds of forms, Google stuff, things from other websites, have embed codes. You can embed a lot. But this lets you insert things quickly as long as it's from a Google platform. Picasa Web Photo is a Google platform. Google Draw, AdSense, Textbox, HTML Box, New Posts. So these are all different things. One final bonus, uh, how do I share docs with my students when it comes to hyperlinking if I have a quiz? If you have Dropbox, this video is not going to show you how. You have an icon right here. 
You can launch the Dropbox website and see all of your documents. If I want to add this lab right here, I click on the share link. Remember that chains is a link. Get link. Back to my page. Hyperlink. Web address. Paste the link that I got from Dropbox and open in a new window. Save. Let's try it. And it will open up this document. This is how I put documents online so I don't have to print, really print stuff anymore if my students have devices or we're near a computer lab. So that's a little bonus feature from Dropbox. Google Docs can do the same thing, but a lot of people like Dropbox because of the look and feel of it. Cheers.